In this training, I want to go through how to set up Deadline Funnel with any sort of automated webinar software. Now, the exact specifics of what you click inside of your automated webinar software, we're going to cover in other videos. I want to go over the key concepts to make sure that I cover the strategies and tactics that are going to apply to all automated webinar setups, regardless of what technology you're using. Whether it's Easy Webinar or Ever Webinar, Stealth Seminar, Ninja Webinar, or whatever system you're using, it really doesn't matter. So, with that, let's go ahead and dive in. So, one of the things that I want to cover first is for the emails, you might be wondering <clears throat> okay, should I use the webinar software or my own email software, such as Drip, ConvertKit, Entreport, etc.? Um, and the reason why we get this question is because a lot of webinar software has their own email that goes out with things like registration links. So as soon as someone registers, they, each person gets their own specific registration or their <coughs> attendance link. And it's unique to them. So what am I supposed to use? And the answer is that what we recommend whenever possible is to use the webinar software's emails for everything between the registration and the actual webinar itself. So if you look down below, in the red section, we've got the registration links, the reminders, and then also the replay announcements. Now, the replay is, of course, going to be after the webinar, uh, but if you're going to be using your webinar software to host the replay, then you might want to use that, uh, use the webinar software's email system to send that out, okay? But as a, as a guidepost, as a general rule of thumb, everything between the registration event and the webinar with all those individualized, specialized links for the webinar system, you want to use the webinar replay system to send those emails. Everything that's not included in that, for example, after the webinar, between the webinar and the actual deadline, you ideally want to use something like Drip, ConvertKit, Entreport, Infusionsoft, Active Campaign, et cetera, et cetera. If I didn't name yours, I'm not leaving any one particular one out. We integrate with so many different services. So for things like all the, the the sequence of emails that go afterwards, the social proof, the objection handling, and of course the deadline. Now, you also could have, say, um, or just a, a regular page with the the video up, and so could, let's say it's built in ClickFunnels or lead pages, and you could use that as your replay system. And so you could also use your email software to send out an email link for the replay. Um, it's just a different way of doing it. Okay, I don't want to confuse things, but you could do it that way. So now that we've covered that, I want to discuss the biggest challenge you're going to face and that really trips people up with automated webinars and deadlines, but I'm going to show you that it's really not that complicated. Okay, so here's the challenge. With a lot of automated webinar systems, uh, you've probably seen that your prospects have the ability to register on multiple different days. Typically, it's going to be two different days. So uh, in this example, I showed up on a Tuesday, and I can register either for an event on Tuesday or for a time on Wednesday. Now, you don't have to set it up this way, but a lot of people do. And if you're doing it, that's going to cause a particular challenge. And let me explain what the challenge is. So if you look here on this blue timeline, over on the left, going to the right, we've got the registration date, and then let's just pretend that kind of later in that day is when the webinar happens. See how the lines are kind of close together? And then several days later, we've got the deadline. Now, one person might show up and register for that same day. That's what I'm indicating with the blue line. So let's say that's Tom. And someone else named Sally comes along same day in this green timeline. But Sally doesn't register for today's. She registers for tomorrow's. So you can see that those two lines are offset. So in, for most marketers, using this type of setup where someone can, uh, for, what, for any given day, they can register for later today or for a time tomorrow, really what they want is they, more often than not, they want a specific number of days between the webinar date and the actual deadline. So you see in Sally's timeline down below, the deadline is on a different date. So what I want you to see here, what I really want you to understand is that if we were to try to synchronize everything based on when they register, you'll notice that for some of the people, 
they're going to see the deadline on, on one day, and for some of the people, they're going to see the deadline on another day. In other words, for half of your audience, the deadline is going to be off by a day. So we don't want that. So you need to choose a deadline triggering event that is a predictable number of days from the deadline. Let me back up and just show you that in this example, see how the, the, the one hash mark that's lined up in both the blue and the green timeline is the registration event. And you can see that this is causing a problem because there's not a predictable number of days between when they register and when the deadline is. And it all comes back to the fact that someone can register <clears throat> on any given date for later today or sometime tomorrow. Okay, and so that causes the issue. So we need an event that is a predictable number of days from the deadline. So if you're going to offer multiple days, and you don't have to, but if you're going to do that, then what you want to do is you want to line it up so that the webinar attendance is the triggering event. So it doesn't matter when they actually show up and register, it matters when the webinar actually happens. So here's how. Basically what you're going to do is in your webinar software, uh, you're going to instruct it, you're going to set up some logic that's going to basically say apply a tag when someone attends this webinar presentation. So when the webinar software can determine that someone has attended, you can often set it up to apply a tag to their record in Drip or ConvertKit or Infusionsoft or Active Campaign or Entreport. And so if you can do that, that is ideal. Now, in some cases, you might also want to include, you might also want to have a second logic instruction that says apply a tag also when they do not attend. Okay, so why would you want to do that? Well, if you think about it, for 100% of the people that register, there's only two things that can happen. They either attend or they don't attend. So when that presentation happens, whenever they choose for that to be, they either show up or they don't. There's no third possibility. And so if the tag gets applied in both of those situations, and that tag is what tells Deadline Funnel and your email system to start at the same time, then everything is synchronized. So in what situations might you not want to apply a tag when they do not attend? Well, if you are going to treat those people completely differently. So for example, I speak to some marketers who um, who if who will treat prospects, set up automations in such a way that if someone doesn't attend, that they'll just try to get them, they'll, they won't send them through the sequence that ends in a deadline, yet their whole goal is to get them to attend the webinar. So they will want them to uh, they'll send an email the next day that says, hey, we saw that you missed the webinar, come here to attend the webinar. So in other words, until they attend that webinar, they actually won't go into the sequence. And so in that situation, uh, the, what happens next in the, in the automation flow is 100% dependent on whether they attend or don't attend. Whereas other marketers say, look, just like a live webinar, it's happening at a certain time, and so whether they attend or they don't attend, I'm going to send them the replay, I'm going to send them a series of emails, and then there's going to be a deadline. And, and so what happens after that webinar event is the same whether they attend or don't attend. It's just, it just really depends on how you want to do it. There's a lot of different ways to set up your funnel. But the key thing is that especially for the folks who do attend the webinar, you want your webinar software to apply a tag in your email software system. Now what that's going to do is that's going to be sort of like the first domino in a string of dominoes that have all been carefully set up so that when you tip the first one, it knocks over the second and then the third and then the fourth. So that tag that happens when they attend will um, trigger the, um, the email software to put them into an email sequence that ultimately ends in a deadline uh, with, with email saying, hey, today's the deadline. And at the same time that they get put into that sequence, which all started from the tag, your email system can send a signal to deadline funnel that says, hey, it's time to, to assign a deadline to this person. So think about this. If the, if the length of the deadline, evergreen deadline that you set up in deadline funnel 
is the same number of days as the email sequence that they get once they attend the webinar. And everything is started once they attend that webinar, then everything's synchronized. And that's the magic. That's how it happens. All right, so let's go another step deeper and so that you can see a little bit more exactly how this works. All right, so we're going to take the same timeline here. There's the registration event, the webinar event, and the deadline at the end of it. And the webinar is going to be the action that triggers everything. So in other words, just like I explained, when someone attends the webinar, your software logic is going to either apply a tag or put that subscriber into a specific automation sequence in your in your software. Okay, but one way or another, they're going into a, a new sequence. All right, and that sequence is the same length of time between uh, as represented on the webinar and the and the and the deadline. Okay, so let's say it's five days. All right, now I'm showing the drip logo, but this could be with Active Campaign, Infusionsoft, ConvertKit, etc., etc., etc. So let's say that you're using Drip. You would set up some logic in Drip that says, okay, great. When this, whenever this tag X Y Z tag is applied to a subscriber put them into this sequence. That's the sequence where they have attended the webinar, now you're gonna send them some emails and it's gonna end with a deadline. But the first step in that sequence, again, this is in Drip or your email software, the first step will be to send a webhook or sometimes known as an HTTP post over to Deadline Funnel. It's sending some information over to Deadline Funnel and that's where Deadline Funnel receives that information and says, okay, now that we've received this information, we're gonna start tracking for the person with this email address for five days. Notice that in this example, the five day sequence, the, the length of the sequence in drip in this example, uh, matches the length of the deadline funnel. So essentially we have a sequence of emails that will go out that is the same length of time as a deadline funnel tracking. So if you start them at the same time, then they're gonna end at the same time. And we're starting them when they attend the webinar. So hopefully this all, all the pieces are now coming together. Okay, so you might be wondering, well, what if my email software and my webinar software don't integrate with each other? Sometimes that's the case. Well, so here's what you can do. One option is to set it up so that instead of trying to integrate directly with your webinar software and your email software, you use a go-between, use Zapier. And so you would, have your webinar software trigger what's called a zap and that would communicate with Zapier. You'd have to sign up with Zapier but they, they have free plans and they have some low price plans so you would have to have this extra tool um, but essentially it's just one extra step. And the way it works is that same, same deal when they attend uh, a, a zap is triggered and that zap will do two things at the same time. So for example, in the case of integrating EverWebinar and Aweber, you would use this method. So you would have it set up so that Zapier would then uh, move a subscriber in say Aweber to a five day sequence. And step two of that zap would be to send a signal to Deadline Funnel. Now notice that this is different than what we did before only because we're not asking Aweber to send any information to Deadline Funnel. All of that heavy lifting is done by Zapier. So your webinar triggers Zapier, Zapier does the rest. Zapier moves the subscriber in your email software and also triggers the deadline in Deadline Funnel. Now there's also another option. The other option would be to limit your webinar to just one specific day. So as you can see in the screenshot, when I choose the, the day, there's only one day available, not multiple. And by the way, the way that you do that inside of EverWebinar, for example, would be that you would have to, currently the way that you set this up is that you currently set it up so that you enable the just-in-time and you also set it up so that you don't split, display any schedule other than the just-in-time and or yesterday's replay. All right, so we've covered some key concepts on how to integrate Deadline Funnel with basic and basically any automated webinar system. We've we've gone through the overview, and again, we've we've covered the key concepts. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, okay, but what about 
my specific email software? How do I how do I make that work with uh, EverWebinar and Deadline Funnel? Well, for that you would go to our documentation. So we have documentation on exactly how to do this at documentation.deadlinefunnel.com, and in the bottom right hand corner, if you need additional help, you can always chat with my team. But you can just type in here, and for example, EverWebinar, and you can see if you wanted to know how to do EverWebinar in Active Campaign. Boom, there you go. And there's lots of different information on exactly how to do that. So our documentation will help you out in terms of specifically what buttons to click and exactly how to set it up. But my team is standing by ready to help you in case the documentation still leaves you with some questions.